sister in the back of the head, oh. and she had to get, I think she got stitches or a staple or something like that. Good morning guys, and welcome to today's vlog. We are starting off the day on a little family outing at Cove's gymnastics class. This is her second one. Last week, she loved it and Parker was in there with her, but I'm gonna go in this time. It kind of sucks for the other parent. We don't like both really need to go. Right. But it's so far away, like I could barely even see what they were doing right. last did, time. Did you film in there the last vlog? No, I didn't get any footage. But oh. they also have window tint. It's like yeah. a... <clears throat> so they can't see through the other side. Yeah, so you can see them, but they can't see you. And then they were way across the gym, so like it was dark and I just like basically couldn't see anything. So I'm going in this time with her, which will be fun, and Parker can just like watch from where I was. And then I think we need to go and get poster board after. And I think that's the only errand that we need to do, but... I need to go run some errands later too. Where are you going? I went and bought a drill oh, yeah. uh, the other day. Okay, I'm hanging. We gotta go inside. No, we'll, do it. We'll talk, about, we'll talk about it later. Oh. That's that's a fact. Oh yeah, I set my clock to fast minutes. because I'm always late everywhere. I got a drill to finish the shelves in the in the garage. Mm -hmm. And I actually, when I went in there, they didn't have any more like in the shelves. Mm -hmm. So they gave me the display model. Oh, that's and I was like, first mistake. Well, there's it shouldn't be anything with the Long battery. Story short, it's broken. The batteries are both broken. They don't work. It, and it says on the charger, like, if it does this, it's broken. And yeah. it does what it says when it's broken. So I need to return that. Yeah, so we have a couple couple errands, a couple things to get done, but I'm excited for gymnastics. All right, back at home. Family outing has been canceled because she did not like it today. She really liked it last time, but it was a different teacher this time, and it was just a little more like structured. And last time they kind of got to just like do whatever. So I don't know. She just did not like it this time. Yeah, I lasted like two minutes in there because for one, she was asking for Parker, and I'm literally not even like that big, but just like physically, I literally cannot deal with life. So Parker went in there, and yeah, she didn't like it. And she's still kind of in a bad mood. So we're gonna take a break from the errands we were gonna run. <laughs> Just like relax at home for a second. She's gonna eat lunch in like half an hour. And then this video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh, which I'm super excited about because we got a new box and we have a recipe that I've been wanting to try. So we're gonna get her some lunch and then kind of just like get a relax and make a HelloFresh lunch and just have some quiet time, which will be nice. Have a baby, they said. It will be fun, they said. All right, Parker's putting Coke down. I have our HelloFresh meal out and I'm gonna get started making it. So we are having triple mushroom truffle gnocchi this week. And you guys know it comes with recipe cards, picture instructions on the back, which is great because it's super hard to mess up. They have a ton of different recipes to choose from each week to help you get out of your recipe rut. So I'm excited for this one. And it looks like it is not too complicated. It's nice to not have to meal plan everything. And most meals come together in about 30 minutes or they they have quick and easy options that are around 20 minutes too. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. So it's done, it looks delicious. Uh, let's do a taste test, ready? Mm. I'm pretty sure we haven't had this one, right? Wow. It's so good. Look at my presentation. I made it look really good, I did a big oh, bowl. Parker has his apron on. Mm -hmm. We love HelloFresh so much for the best. It makes for less food prep and less food waste afterwards. Mm -hmm. We also have a code for you guys. If you guys wanna go to hellofresh.com and use the code Aspen and Parker 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's actually the most that we've ever done. That's the yeah. biggest one. That's a great deal. They make it super easy to change food preferences, change delivery dates if you're gonna be out of town. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we love them. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring the video. Make sure you guys check it out in the description. All right, so first, Aaron, I'm at Ace Hardware because Last week, I came and bought a new drill because my drill actually stopped working. I was uh, drilling a hole in the wall and it just like died and then the, now the battery won't charge. So it wasn't a very good drill anyways, so I felt it was time to invest in like a good Milwaukee drill, you know? So I came and got it last week, took it home, batteries weren't working. So I'm here to return it or 
Actually, I'm gonna exchange it because I need a drill still. But I'm probably not gonna be able to film in there. I'll uh, update you when I'm headed to the next place. Or actually, I'll show you what I got and then I'll update you. Phone cam, I'm recording now. Decided to get a clip. I came in to exchange and get the same one, but then we opened the box. It had another faulty battery. So then I decided I'm gonna go with DeWalt and he's checking to see if he has one in the back. So hopefully I get a, one of this. This is the one, a DeWalt drill. So I'm back. I uh, decided to go with a different brand. Kind of briefly told the story just barely in the last clip while I was in there. I went in, exchanged the old one. As I was walking back there, the guy was like, oh, I actually just got the new one of the one that you just got. You wanna just get the same one? I was just planning on getting a different one anyways. And then I was like, yeah, I'll get it, but can we open it up and double check the batteries? And we opened it up and one of the batteries was faulty, which is like, they must have a recall on that Milwaukee brand one. And then that, that was the only one they had that they got in. So I just jokingly was like, oh, I guess, I'll go with a DeWalt instead of a Milwaukee. And he was like, actually, I don't know how true this is, but he said that they're actually manufactured in the exact same spot. And so they're the same thing basically. So I went with the, the DeWalt and uh, I'm excited. Now I'm gonna head to Michael's because we need to get some new poster boards to uh, black out Cove's room a little better. All right, spot two, Michael's. I'm getting some uh, black poster boards. Got the poster board, that was a success. Now I'm headed home, and I think that's all for my errand. So, I'm headed home. So Cove has been napping, she's up now, we're gonna go to the park, but I have this pile of clothes I've been trying to organize and try on. So I figured I'd show you guys a couple of the things that I got, and I can link them too, but now with my belly, the only comfy thing is like big t-shirts and biker shorts. So I actually have this one in pink and they just came out with the blue. It's from Free People. It's so freaking cute. So I ordered like four t-shirt, like big t-shirts from them. So I'm just trying them on. So this one is super comfy and I love it. Also have the pink one, like I said. So I'll link this down below for you guys. I also got this one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but it's also the longest one. I think the other ones just said like t-shirt and this one might've said t-shirt dress. So it's a little bit longer, which is good, but I don't know, I can't tell if it's like too big, but this is what the second one looks like. This is the third one. So for all of these, they were either like a one size option or I got extra large just to have it be like as big as possible so that I could wear it as more of a dress with my belly. And then biker shorts are nice because they don't like hurt my stomach when it's like pushing on it because they're just like not that tight, you know? So yeah, this is the third one. So they're all just like a teeny bit short, but then I also just said the last one was like too long. So I don't really know what exactly I'm looking for, but I'm keeping this one for sure because it's really cute. All right, last t-shirt is another blue one. So this is what this one looks like don't really know what else to do but this is it i also have a couple pieces from revolve that i'm trying on so i'll show you guys these ones too this one i got in a medium so that it would fit my belly and it's like a little bit loose up here on the boobs but it's this cute like bodycon dress so i'd have to figure out what bra to like wear with this maybe i just wouldn't wear one i don't know but the sides are like a little bit loose but it does fit my belly good and it's like a terry cloth material so this is also cute and i'll link it all right next i got this more for the winter time like postpartum just since it's like way too hot right now to wear this but it's just a tie-dye set so i have medium so it should be comfy like for the rest of my pregnancy and for after too okay this set is so fun i love this i got a medium in at the bottoms and a small in at the top and it's just one shoulder like this it's so freaking cute and fun i love it and i think it's really cute with a bump so that's my next one and then i think i have one more actually the last one is a pair of jeans i got these for after i have the baby can't breathe in these at all so i'll link these they don't look cute right now on me but on the website they were so cute all right coco's ready for the park are you ready that is her favorite toy Sad thing is, she doesn't like it for golf. She likes it to like drive it like a car almost. Yeah. But one of, one she, of the wheels is broken off. She needs a new one. Yeah. yeah That's something you picked out for her before I was before even. Before she was born. Yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, she also is really good at swinging the golf clubs too. So mm -hmm. she's gonna be a golfer. She likes. You know what I think we should get her that she would like? What? One of those like tee ball things. Yeah, and she I think she'd ball. like it. Let's yeah. Get one. We also got some black poster board that we're gonna put in her windows because she's been waking up so early. Yeah, she's been waking up like before seven. There's been days where we either put her down later to see if she would sleep in later, which she does not. There's days where she takes shorter naps. So she's like awake longer before bed. Maybe that would make her sleep longer. It does not. I really think it's like the fact that it's summer and like the sun comes in that way. And we have blackout blinds, but they're not actually blackout. It's like room darkening. So some light still comes in on the sides. And we have some posters boards in her window already but i think we need to add a little bit more because it worked for like a couple days that she was sleeping in longer and then the past like three four five however many days she's been up early again and we're up early so it's fine but i really enjoy like that hour before she's awake just like being able to get a workout done and like pick up the house and whatever so we're gonna put up some more poster board and see if it helps we came out to the park hi coco are you over the playground already we literally just got here Oh, are you okay? We love this park. There's this huge big field down here for Luma to run around in. It's like kind of far away from everybody. Have you ever been ice blocking? I did it one time. You've been once? I've only done it like a couple times in St. George because there's not hills like this in St. George. The times that I've done it the best were up here in Salt Lake with my cousins right over there across the valley. Let me explain what it is. So you ice blocking. Sit on a block of so ice. you know when you go to the gas station you can buy cubed ice or you can buy a block Luma. of ice. You buy the block of ice, put a towel over it, you sit on it, and the ice on the grass, it freaking hauls butt down the hill. It's like sledding, basically. Yeah, like in the... In the heat. And it's sledding yeah. in the heat. But these huge grass hills, you get going fast. And one time, this is actually the last time that I ever did it up here in Salt Lake with my cousins. They have a hill by their house. It's probably three, four times this. It's nuts. We had a race. And one of my cousins like fell off and the cube without him took off and it hit my sister in the back of the head oh. and she had to get i think she got stitches or a staple or something like that but yeah it was like it was crazy so that yeah, is crazy nuts. maybe don't do that <laughs> guys sounds kind of dangerous i remember doing it one time with my family i think i was in like middle school so it was a long time ago and i don't remember if it was really that fun but it sounds like it could be fun if you have like a good hill like this We got the poster boards in there. Kind of sucks because if it works, we're going to keep them in there like all the time because it's just easier to do that than like take them in and out. So her room's going to kind of always be dark. But she actually doesn't come in here that often unless she's like taking a nap or going to bed. So it'll be kind of annoying that it's dark in here. But for now, if it works, then whatever. Because she has like her playroom and everything over here. I need to pick up a few things in here. But I wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of the wallpaper that we are actually going to be putting in here. I was not planning on changing the wallpaper in this room. Before we found out if it was a boy or a girl for baby number two, I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep the wallpaper. If it's a girl, I probably won't change like that much. And if it's a boy, I'll just change like, she has a pink sheet. So I was gonna get like a cute mustard one and then switch out like some of the vases and stuff on the dresser. But this wallpaper I have had my eye on for so long and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get it. And it's gonna go in here instead of in Cove's new room because I've shown you guys Cove's rug is like super colorful and like a statement. So I just don't really wanna put wallpaper in that room because I don't feel like it needs it. So what I'm planning on doing is putting up this wallpaper, which I'll show you guys in just a second. And then this is a picture of Cove, so I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna wallpaper this wall. We don't need a new crib, but this company said maybe they would send me one, so. It's super cute and like rattan. So we might be getting a new crib. And I also have, I think I'm gonna switch this rug with the rug we have in the guest room downstairs. Um, Cause I think it will go super cute with this wallpaper. And then I might do something else right here, but I don't know, I'm gonna keep this. I think I'll replace the knobs on this just to like gold ones. And then maybe swap out these vases with a couple things we already have downstairs. So changing a couple things, but I don't know, not that much. I wasn't gonna change literally anything at all. And then now that it's like here, it's just so fun to decorate. So I'm gonna ch keep the chair, probably keep that same pillow, keep these things. Cove has always like loved playing on them. And then we have like her bookshelf here, the mirror and all that stuff. So changing a couple things in here. 
and then we'll set up Cove's new room. But this is the wallpaper. I'm obsessed. It's from Loomwell and it's so cute. I'm so excited to put it up. The new crib isn't supposed to get here until like end of August if we do that. So I think we're going to wait a little bit to put this up. And Cove's bed is also coming from Australia. I don't know when. So we're not going to move her room for a while because even when the new baby comes, Cove is still going to be in a crib and her new bed is a toddler bed. So it would actually be kind of nice because I'm not sure if Cove will be ready to go into a toddler bed by the time that we would be moving her to a different room. So it'll kind of be nice to have two cribs because I can keep her in this one but just like move it into the other room if i need to and it'll have like two beds in there for a little bit because her toddler bed will also be in there but i don't know i'm kind of just gonna see i feel like we still have time to like get all that figured out but anyways this print from loomwell i am obsessed with i literally think it is so cute i changed a few of the shades on here so i'll link this exact one down below and if you guys want the version that I did, it's pretty similar to the original, but these ones I think were a little bit more red. So I just made them more pink, like this one and that one. So they said to just like email them if you want this exact one that I did, but I'll link it on their website. But it's so cute, so I'm so excited to hang that up, but we won't do that for a little bit. But I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. And in case anybody forgot what coast rug looks like it looks like this from anthropology and i'm pretty sure they restocked it it was sold out and i think all the sizes are back now so i'll link this down below too but since it's like so busy i don't want to do any wallpaper in here i think i'll keep this dresser for her this is going to go in our room because that's where the baby's going to sleep for the first few months so i think i'll put cove's little clothing rack right here she has like a rattan one i got this print i actually didn't get it to go in here but i don't have a place for it i just like impulsively bought it because I don't know why i was gonna figure out somewhere to put it downstairs but it could go in here maybe and then over on this wall i'm gonna have cove's toddler bed that's also rattan and that's all i have figured out so far so really excited to get to do both of those projects we'll probably do them in like august or september I think I have like 11 weeks left until the baby comes, which is crazy. So maybe it's 12, I don't know. But when you say it like that, instead of like three months or something, it makes it sound like it's very, very soon. Excuse me, sir. Last thing that I'm doing before we end the vlog and relax for the day is we got two packages. One from Fabletics. What are you excited to see what mom got? matching leggings oh i forgot about this one this is a bodysuit that i picked out that i thought would be fun and like cute with my bellies which is black and really simple green sports bra cute matching leggings another pink sports bra also with matching leggings this is cute a jacket that matches the first set that i opened this sports bra top combo so those are all super cute last package Oh, oh wait, I think I know what this is. I hate when I remember what I ordered. It's way more fun to open stuff when you don't remember what it is. But I'm pretty sure this is a bubble machine and some bubbles. This looked way bigger online. <laughs> I got some bubbles and I also got this bubble machine. This is the third one of these that we have bought in like a month. I also saw on their listing, it says like mix this with water. Oh really? We're always like running out of bubbles and we're like, Makes what the sense. heck? Yeah this bubble machine it's really good but we just keep ours outside and so the first one that i bought had like a defect or something so then we bought a second one and that one worked normal and it worked for a while what happened to it we just we left it outside and it got rained on and like oh it like the yeah, so that was our part. fault that it got ruined. Third bubble machine, but Cove asks for this like every day, so she'll be super excited that we have it again. But anyways, I think that is it for the vlog. Today was super productive. I didn't have like that much stuff to shoot, which was really nice. And we just got like almost everything on our to-do list done, and it's not even six yet. So feeling good about today. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Don't forget to check out HelloFresh. Links down below, and use our code Aspen and Parker at fourteen for fourteen free meals plus free shipping so thanks again to hellofresh for sponsoring this video i'll also have a bunch of other stuff linked that i said i would link like all my clothes and everything and yeah everything should be there for you guys so you can easily shop but i hope you guys enjoyed watching today and we'll see you guys in our next one bye guys